What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. Now, my latest few videos have been getting a lot of attention. A lot of good attention and a lot of negative attention. Usually from those who are giving resistance to the message because of cognitive dissonance. You give them a message that goes against what they currently believe, their current belief system. It can cause some discomfort and that's what's happening on this video. Usual stuff, let's go through it together. Let's read some of the hate comments, shall we? Okay, so Doug... Retino, you people make me sick. Go do something that can help save a human life. Well, if you didn't know, Doug, by going vegan, you are saving human lives. You are saving your own health. You're uh, the number one killer is heart disease. The number one killer, the only diet proven to reverse our number one killer is a whole foods plant-based diet, which is vegan, okay? So veganism is saving human lives. And eating meat, what's that doing? Killing animals, killing humans, killing the planet. So why don't you go do something productive, Doug, and stop leaving unhelpful comments on my page. Oh, here we go, Nick. Damn, they look delicious. You think cows look delicious in their whole form? I think you're just being ridiculous, mate. No one thinks a whole animal looks delicious. That's why you don't eat a whole cow the way it is. You chop it up into little pieces, you season it, you fry it on a barbecue, and you take it away as far away from its natural state as possible so you can stomach it. Now Tim, interesting guy Tim, if everyone stopped eating meat and went vegan, these animals would go extinct anyway. What would be the point in farmers keeping them? You're not going to have them as pets in your house and farmers certainly aren't going to pay unnecessary vet and feed bills for them. So you're happy for all these cows, sheeps and pigs etc to just die out? Seems like a bit of a no-win situation for anybody to me. Also the farmer is well aware of what he's doing and how he makes a living. He doesn't need to be bullied about it. Okay let's go from the top here. If everyone stopped eating meat and went vegan these animals would go extinct. You know what? If an animal's primary purpose for their existence is to be stuck into a gas chamber or into a slaughterhouse or to be treated like a product, slave, having their horns cut off, their beaks clipped down, their feathers ripped off their flesh while they're still conscious, boiled alive, slit throat, drained of their blood, chopped up into pieces, what type of existence is that anyway? I'd prefer these animals weren't brought into this existence. If you were, in, if you were brought into this existence, an existence of torture, death, suffering, and slavery, would you prefer to not have existed? I think so. You're not going to have them as pets in your house. Who says? Who says we're not going to keep anim animal sanctuaries? Are happy to look after animals. We wouldn't have 60 billion of them on the planet anyway. We wouldn't be using them for food. Seems like a bit of a no-win situation. It's a no-win situation right now. The, the planet is dying. The animals are dying. People are dying, it's a no-win situation right now. Just for taste, pfft, trivial. The farmer is well aware of what he is doing and how he makes a living, and he doesn't need to be bullied about it. We're not bullying him, okay? We're standing up for the rights of these animals. They can't speak for themselves. He is the bully. He is the bully, dropping them off at a slaughterhouse. Who's the bully here? Vegans who are standing up for these animals who can't speak for themselves. They're most innocent, the most vulnerable, okay? We're just saying, hey, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? It's unnecessary. How does that make us a bully? I don't know, who's the real bully here? People have been eating meat for centuries. FFS, get a life. People have been doing a lot of things for centuries. Raping, murdering, pillaging, dropping bombs onto schools. Just because we've been doing something for centuries does not make it moral, does not make it ethical. So I don't know what type of argument you're trying to pull here. But I've heard it before. Grant McKay, meat is king. Meat is king? What, king of cruelty, king of cancer, king of heart disease? King of what, suffering? Why is it okay for these douchebags to stand in the road and harass this man trying to earn a living, but not okay for us meat eaters to give them shit for being veg heads? I'd, I'd love a nice top sirloin, some sweet baby back ribs, and a veal palm. I don't push my shit on them. They shouldn't push their shit on others. To each their own, or is that only a one-way street? Okay, we're harassing this man for trying to earn a living. If you're earning a living and you know, the way that you're doing that has a direct victim, like the animals in his trailer about to get their heads chopped off, then I don't think, I don't think it's harassing him. I don't think we're harassing him. Hey, if he wasn't doing something wrong, why would he feel so guilty? I don't get a lot of pleasure out of bringing them in here, and I certainly don't get pleasure out of you gentlemen making it worse for me. It's not okay for meat eaters to give them shit for being veg heads. What are you gonna give us shit about? Who are we harming? We're asking you not to harm innocent beings. So, what are you gonna give us shit about? We're calling you guys out because there's a baby on your plate, a chopped up baby. Animals are babies when they're killed. I'd love a nice top sirloin, some sweet baby back ribs and veal palm. 
Well, meat causes cancer, so you better be careful. And all of those things you've mentioned come from baby animals. So do you think you're a manly for eating baby animals, uh, for being responsible for supporting their suffering and death? I don't think it makes you a man. I don't push my shit on them. They shouldn't push their shit on others. Well, exactly. You're, you're the one who has a victim on your plate. You're, you're actually standing up for this man who's driving these cows to the slaughterhouse. On your behalf, probably. On your behalf. So you can have your sirloin steak. To each their own. Or is that only a one-way street? Uh, look, like, to each their own. Like, you know, if people want to go out and commit acts of violence against innocent beings, to each their own. What if I had your uh, puppy dog here and I was stabbing the puppy dog in the throat, skinning the puppy dog to eat their puppy dog, and I said, and you said, what are you doing? That's my puppy dog. I love that puppy dog. And I said, to each their own. What? You, I don't give you shit for not stabbing puppy dogs, so why are you giving me shit for stabbing, stabbing puppy dogs to each their own? See how that argument doesn't really fit when we put it in a different context? Leave the poor farmer alone. Leave the poor animals alone. Leave the poor animals alone. We're, we're there peacefully protesting. We're, we're, we're being polite, not swearing, we're talking to him, trying to reach his heart, okay, because he's got a bunch of cows in there that are petrified. Those cows were petrified, tearing out their eyes, defecating all over themselves, getting driven to their demise, and you're telling us to leave the farmer alone? Where's the perspective, mate? Have some perspective. I don't know how people cannot empathize. Do you know what empathizing is? Putting yourself in the victim's position, okay? Try doing that, try doing that. Imagine being a terrified, petrified uh, animal in the back of a ute, getting driven to a slaughterhouse, you know that, and let's just say you, you, you've been part of the herd. You've been part of the herd and you've seen a few cows get uh, taken into this trailer before and they haven't come back. So you're wondering, wow, maybe I'm gonna get herded onto this trailer and I'm not gonna come back. Okay, so they're, they're terrified. Did you see what happens in a slaughterhouse? It's a hell hole. Uh, here we go. I think he's trying to mock us here. So he's like, we don't eat meat, but we will destroy our forest to live in a house of wooden construction. These vegans are just serial pests on our society. So he's saying that we don't eat meat, but we're, we're happy to live in a house of wooden constructions that destroys the rainforest. Imagine using that argument against any other form of injustice. Like let's just say I was a murderer, I murdered humans, and someone come and called me out, of, out on it and said, like, what are you doing, stop murdering people? And I was like, <laughs> What, you don't murder people, but you're happy to live in a house of wooden construction. Imagine if I was someone who abused dogs, I uh, kicked dogs to death just for fun, for pleasure, and I was kicking a dog to death, and someone come up to me and they said, hey Joey, why are you kicking that dog to death? And I said, what, you won't kick dogs to death, but you're happy to live in a house of wooden construction? Do you see how that argument sounds pretty pathetic when you put it in context? By existing, we are displacing some wildlife. We are causing destruction on the earth just by existing. Okay, even as exist existing as a vegan, you are. Okay, that's something we have to come to terms with. But that doesn't mean we should cause the maximum amount of suffering and harm and stab animals to death and use every single innocent being on this planet as a resource and rip their skins off their back and make shoes out of them and rip their flesh off their bones and make soup out of it. Okay, we can cause the least amount of harm and we do that by being vegan. These vegans are just serial pests on our society. Human beings are pests on the earth. Vegans are trying their best to lessen their harm. What are you doing? Be interesting to see how that twat would react, being cornered by a lion while holding a gun. Now the difference between being cornered by a lion, okay, is that my life is in jeopardy. That's a survival situation. If I had a gun and a lion was about to kill me, I would do what I had to do to survive, okay? When has a chicken, a cow, a pig, a lamb, or a fish ever cornered you and you had to kill them? They are innocent beings we're slaughtering. Innocent beings, okay? That's the difference, okay? They have done nothing wrong to deserve this. If you were in a corner and a bunch of chickens were about to kill you, yeah, okay, you gotta do what you do to have to do to survive, okay? This is not that. We're rounding up billions of them, we're breeding billions of them to existence and we're chucking them in slaughterhouses for the sole purpose of eating their flesh or using their bodies in some way. Experimenting on them in a laboratory, using them to dance around in a circus for our entertainment. How, how the hell is that a survival situation? It's pure pleasure, pure sadistic hedonism, it's greed, okay? It's not survival. Okay, so I, I saved the best for last. This guy here, Jaquilo Saunders, uh, this one here, I've already shared this post on my social media because it, you know, is one of my favorite. F all that, some of us eat meat, get over it. Are not plants life forms? You're killing the food source for the meat you're bitching about. 
Them clothes they had on all looked mighty cotton containing. I know they probably don't kill the sheep. Yeah, right, but they're still kept in captivity. I don't know if you know Jaquillo, but, but cotton is from a plant, not a sheep. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for everyone for your support. I thought I'd give you a little bit of a break from the uh, debates on the streets with the farmers and you know doing the outreach and just give you a little sit down video. So I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, leave in the comments section what, what else you'd like to see from me. Would you like to see any videos? Thank you to all my Patreons who have been supporting me. I love you all and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.